Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody want to know how they could put a vine with flowers into a font or a text. So I picked one, it's pretty big. I just searched uh, flowers or vines with flowers, clip art black and white. This is a pretty big file, so right click and copy the image, go to back to Corel, open it up, paste it in there. It's gonna paste it real small. And if we move the yellow box over, you can see it's a clip art. I've already got one right here. So I'm gonna just use it. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna convert it. I'm just gonna trace it, outline trace clip art. Did it that fast. We can move this over. Let's get rid of this one right here. And then the easiest way to do it would be, I've got my nudge factor set on three inches because this is less than three. Take it, go up to object, group and ungroup it. And then take the black and move it over, the majority of the black. Then I'm gonna delete the white because there's, there's less white than there is black and gray. I want the grays to make a total picture. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit, make sure there's no more whites, and it wouldn't really matter, but whites are a fill in between there. I think I've got it all. I'm gonna select this, nudge it over. Now, two trains of thought. I'm gonna make them all black, but I'm gonna make a duplicate of this guy right now and, and move it over here. This is gonna be a different one, so I'm gonna go with this one, I'm gonna combine it. I'm gonna to go to object, and combine. Now we can bring it into our text. So we'll make it, I've already made it bigger, so I'm gonna use this one right here, but we need to, don't forget to make duplicates if you're making multiples. So then just kind of place it, it's kind of hard to see, you could actually make it an outline, but you can do this, back minus front, and there is a engravable font that uh, you could engrave and the white's not gonna engrave because it's not there. You could do this right here. So we could left, left click, no fill, right click, outline. I'm gonna make it red. Let me move the C out of the way for a minute. You could do this and then smart fill. We'll have to change our nudge distance. This is almost 10 inches, so we'll change our nudge to 10. Get the smart fill tool set it on a green, move it over, and you could do every little piece if you wanted it, or just leave some of it for other people's imagination, or however you want to do it. Maybe every piece would look pretty good. And then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna change it into a blue, and then nudge it over. Look how well that would print. If you're a printer, there's a totally different look. Now, remember I left one of them Excuse me, I left one of them uh, down here that's not grouped together because I'm going to use the boundary tool and make a boundary. I'm going to nudge that guy out of the way. And then I'm going to go to object and I'll go to effect, sorry, contour, contour to the outside, just one step. I don't know how big that's going to be. That's pretty good. Then you could take and go to object, break contour apart, move this contour out of the way. And actually I didn't nudge this. I should have nudged this over there, but we're going to just for ballpark reasons, just put it back in there. So this way you have a, let's see if I can get it pretty close. Let me set my nudge factor set to lower like 0 0.01 and we'll nudge that. Well, I picked the one on one. So just kind of nudge it up. That looks good enough. We lost some of the detail. But now what you can do is take all this artwork. Let's left click, right click. Let's take the artwork move it over here. Now let's nudge the the black out of the, I think I accidentally moved it. Let's grab the black and nudge it out of the way. If you ever do that, just start a, just un, unnudge it and put it back. Now we're gonna make this the blue. 
and we're gonna use this contour, and we're gonna do the green. So now it's a total different look because the contour is stopped. So now we can just nudge this over. Whoop. I need to nudge this twice. Now you have a totally different look where the, the edges are off the flower. We've got a something happen right there. No, that's the outline. So what we can do, take it both and left click, no outline. Right click, no outline. And now that's solid. Pretty neat design. Uh, I think, you know, for a laser engraver, that right there is pretty cool. Uh, totally different look for a printer that's doing t-shirts. I mean, that that's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.